Hey guys, it's Puapu coming at you, and now that Season 3 has released on Apex Legends, I'd like to know what you guys think, man. I have some mixed feelings on this season. I have, I think, two wins this season, one or two that wins this season, and it's, it's definitely different. The things that I'm noticing are, we'll drop in, and there is a very huge scarcity of loot. I'll be literally dropping in very high tier loot places, and the loot is just either there or it's just super spread out or it's just uh, I feel like there's very seldomly are you finding enough guns to really fight like you need to it's most of the time you, you end up getting one gun and the second gun you pick up is at least you know 30 seconds to a minute later in not that the the map is terrible I think that uh, the map is beautiful uh, this map is way better looking than King's Canyon, which you're watching here, um, and and that's because I haven't gotten good enough gameplay to bring to you guys yet. But that's coming, that is coming. So I want to make sure you guys get quality, interesting, fast-paced kills. N don't want to watch me run around the map for, let's say, 10 minutes just to get a couple kills. You know what I mean? So. Uh, back to you know how the loot is. I know that they've scaled down ultimate accelerants quite a bit um, And I know that some people have also been experiencing the scarcity and loot Maybe it's that I'm just not completely used to this map yet, but I'd like to know what you guys think other than the, the, the actual loot in the map. Uh, I'd like to talk about crypto. I think crypto is absolutely Going to replace bloodhound. I think this character and I and I said before uh, he came out Bloodhound's dead. Like, they killed Bloodhound off. There is absolutely no reason to use Bloodhound uh, with Crypto in this game. Crypto is going to be able to scout ahead and way further than Bloodhound ever could with very few of the, the drawbacks. Like, you can put Crypto's uh, drone up in the air and you can put it by a wall or, or on a sign or, or just blend it in with something. And the only thing that your enemies are going to notice is the sound that it emits. And it has to be, you know, well within your vicinity for it to give them any type of sound. Now, Bloodhound, on the other hand, he has to be up in your face. He has to go find you on foot. If they, if they hear Bloodhound coming, which they're going to, you know, he's dead. And then your scout's gone. See, Crypto can see you from far away and not even have to put himself or his team in the line of danger whatsoever. So I think that's a huge advantage over Bloodhound. So I think Bloodhound is definitely, uh, I mean, not that he was ever really considered meta or even really considered for a top pick, uh, to be real. Yeah, now he's not, in my opinion. Even with the buffs that he gave him for, I think it was like 25% movement speed. With Other than that, the, uh, the guns... Man, the new gun, the charge shots rifle, that thing is so freaking OP. Kind of getting into the uh, the charge rifle shot, that thing is broken. That thing is absolutely broken. There is no need for the Kraber, there is no need for the Longbow, there is no need for the Triple Take if you can get this gun. If you can get this gun, pick it up, put a scope on it, and snipe people from across the map like it is that good and the thing about it is it's it's like a it's like a weird hit scan weapon i believe so it shoots out this beam that lingers so like the, the first charged shot like shard shot part of the beam or whatever it can do damage and then like it keeps doing damage let's say the the charge shot that you actually fire lasts for let's just say three seconds the part that it happens at second one does damage the part that happens at second two does damage, and the part that happens at second three also does damage. And it knocks shields so quickly that if you if you have a scope on this, if you find the gold charge shot, oh man, I got a gameplay for you guys. Wait till I post that with an, once I get more gameplay to par pair with it because it was kind of a slow game and I wasn't pleased. But you'll see that they just cannot handle the charge shot. If, if you're at range, you can pretty much pin down an enemy team and they cannot move so if you get a chance pick up the charge rifle shot thing that thing is OP before they nerf it now crypto coming back to him a little bit his drone I can see that getting nerfed in the future it is super 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 convenient 
I don't know how they're going to nerf him, if they nerf him, but, and I don't think that they should immediately nerf him, because really, like, up close and personal, Crypto is just uh, mediocre. If he is far away, you're pretty much compromised, and you might want to either kill his drone or get the F out, or close distance. If you close dr distance on Crypto and kill his drone, he literally pretty much has nothing. Like, he has n absolutely nothing. Yeah, I, I like Crypto as a character. He's got amazing s skins. I think he's definitely thinking outside the box. I don't think uh, anybody's ever really put a character like that into a game. And I think that a lot of the characters in this game can also have the same said for them. I, I can't, it makes me think I cannot wait to see what other characters they come out with. So guys, once again, if you guys are enjoying Season 3, let me know. Let me know how many wins you guys have. I'd like to know. Uh, some people probably got some insane amounts of wins. Also, I'd like to see them make some changes to the, the loot. I'd like to see them change the loot up. As far as changes go, I'd like to see... I don't want to see anybody nerfed. I don't want to see any guns nerfed. I don't want to see any guns or characters nerfed. I want to everybody to at least have a chance to have fun with these guns, to have fun with these characters. And that's not even to say that they're going to nerf anybody. I, I, I don't know. I think that uh, people are going to start complaining about the drone for sure um, because it is it is pretty powerful. And the charge shot, I can, I can definitely see that. Kind of, I mean, when you get it, it's one of those things. It's when you get the charge shot rifle, holy cow, it's fun. And whenever the enemy team has it, it's like, man, I can't stand that, that gun. And, and that's the definition of fun in a game, you know. When something is that fun to use, everybody's got to get a chance to have fun with that rifle. Kind of like the wingman was in the beginning. It's like, man, this wingman is like crazy, dude. You could just like pretty much like two shot people, two, three shot people, and they're done. No matter what, no matter what kind of shields they have. Where is everybody's favorite place to drop in? I'd like to know where you guys like to drop in. And I really like a lot of the things that they've done as far as hop-ups go. I think that it's really healthy for the game to introduce these new hop-ups that are going to make other guns more usable. Albeit, some of them, like the G7 Scout, may be maybe a little bit OP now. Um, it, no one really used the G7 Scout in the, the season before this. So now that, t that gun kind of gets its time to shine with the newer map. And, and there are other fun guns that are OP, like the Charge Shot or the Longbow, man, is still a great gun. Even the Wingman, in a sense, got a buff from, you know, needing the Skull Piercer to come up to, I think it was like 22.5 damage per shot. Now it's getting like 21 damage, which it was at like 20, so it's basically getting a full percent for free. And it's almost as good as the Skull Piercer rounds before, so... I think that every gun is is pretty well balanced still, and there are some guns that are OP, but that makes the gun the game fun and it's healthy for the. Game. And to kind of move on to like the anvil receiver hop up, I you know I think that's really interesting that when you shoot someone, you do more damage when you're on single shot versus doing a certain amount of damage on full auto, rewarding that accuracy, that is something I've never seen a game do before, and I think that that's actually really, really creative. Although I would like to see that possibly move into three shots. I think that two shots just isn't enough. Uh, it is kind of, you know, upsetting that you have to lose double the ammo. The anvil shot is just really good. I don't think I don't think the shots is quite good enough. And then you know, talking about the double tap trigger where it fires two quick shots per trigger press uh, for like the G7 Scout. I think it's the Eve 8. That's absolutely crazy. It makes me really want to use the Eve 8 even more. I really like the Eve 8 before, although the Peacekeeper was you know really good for I I don't know like kills in my opinion the EVA 8 was kind of inconsistent this is definitely going to make the EVA 8 that much more BA although it already ran through ammo like crazy uh, this one is going to be even crazier man it's just holy cow so that's going to conclude for today's video let me know what you guys thought about season 3 so far 
Next video I'm going to come out with is going to be Season 3 content. Guys, I appreciate you so much. Thank you for coming and watching the videos consistently. Guys, if you haven't already subscribed or hit the notification bell, go ahead and do so. And like the video if you like it. And let me know if you don't. Put some feedback down in the comment section. Take it easy, guys.